Idaho State trying to bounce back from that tough loss to Sacramento State on Thursday, taking on Portland State Saturday night on the Idaho Central Credit Union Court inside Reed Gym. Hey, if you don't guard Ajak Magat, well, he's gonna hit that shot. Leaves him open, knocks it down, bangs it on the board. Crowd can sit down and enjoy the rest of a fantastic game. Ajak inside a little bit later on. This one won't go, but Jeff Salern is there to clean it up. I've said this a lot of times, calling highlights with Salern. That's just a typical kind of basket, outworking the other team and getting the hoop. Portland State hanging around. They led this game for a lot of the contest. That's Braxton Tucker inside, but the Bengals are gonna keep battling. Chris Hansen, the and one, he moved to 15th place on the ISU scoring list tonight. He had 17 points. Marcus Bradley also hits. Nice step back jumper from him. And then you're gonna see Hansen once again, how many times have we been accustomed to seeing him hit threes over the years? In fact, his 200th career three-pointer for Idaho State. Once again, 17 points for him. Not pictured Nambi Zenwa also with a team-high 17 points. Nice game for Gino Luscondo. Had a season-high six assists. He finds Magat, and again, you don't guard him. He's going to hit this one. Subtly, the star of this game, though, Eric Nacken came off the bench, hit back-to-back three-pointers in the first half. He had eight points overall. His most important two came with just seconds left in the game when he sealed it with two late free throws to push it to the four-point game. You'll see a couple more from Soler. He had 15 total, all of them in the first half. ISU scores 45 points in the first half. That's the most for Bill Evans against a Division I opponent while he's been at ISU. Bengals win this one 80-76 over Portland State.